We have made the case uh, that with government having uh, insufficient funds to do all of what has been promised in the past and to do things, we're talking about infrastructure improvements, things that we would all like from our government, but money is tight and for the foreseeable future, even with an economy starting to move up and government revenue at the state level moving up, it's still going to be very tight. I've seen government, I've, I've seen state projections for Kentucky through the year 2018 and it's not rosy for the no. next five years. So we propose that there are many things that would serve the public good that could be done by private industry with state government being the watchdog over it, monitoring the contracts, monitoring the quality, et cetera. But for example, at the University of Kentucky, later this year, I think you all will have over 3,000 dormitory rooms right. under construction at one time. This mm -hmm. massive new improvement to the University of Kentucky that will make it more inviting for students to go to college, a good thing. Well, that's being done with private funds, private developers. Uh, Yum Arena, big headline today came out that with the new management, they brought in a company that could operate a stadium. They know how to serve you popcorn. They know how to serve you a Coca-Cola. And they know how to bring you Lady Gaga or uh, <laughs> Billy Joel, whoever's out there. I don't know. Bill, you go to all those concerts. Um, <laughs> but it's a company that brings you business and knows how to make a profit doing it. And they're doing a whole lot better than when it was being staffed by the fair board. So that's the kind of thing that could happen, mm -hmm. even with road construction, building toll roads, etc. Well, I was going to ask that. How, how do you entice a private company, for example, let's go back to the bridges, to uh, invest in uh, the Brent Spence or uh, the, the Louisville bridges to such a degree that there really then forms a partnership between government and, and right. private? Where are those investors? Well, I think it's out there if government wants them. If you invited pick a name, the Marriott Corporation, to come in and run the State Lodge at Barclay Lake and mm -hmm. say, by the way, we'll give you a 10-year lease. We want you to invest $5 million to upgrade the dining room. Uh, and by the way, you all can keep half the profits. They would come in and do that for you and make a dollar doing it. Why can't we do that today? All sorts of things, one of which are, uh, 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 what do you call it, uh, legacy workers retirement programs with those workers, and government is not as agile. Uh, as you said earlier, private business comes in and they figure out whether you're going to be willing to buy a slushy or a soft drink or a snow cone. You know, mm -hmm. they know that stuff because they've tested it mm -hmm. and all. And they can come in and do that. You go to a state park, they're wonderful state facilities in terms of the land and all, but it's basically the same park what that I went take, to as a kid. What does it take from the state to get this done? Does it, does it have to be legislated? Legislation. It does have to have Yes, and we would propose that there be an office for public-private partnerships within state mm -hmm. government to look for opportunities. For example, the new Medicaid managed care, big deal in Kentucky as to how you distribute uh, uh, medical services in the state to all hospitals, doctors, managed care is a hot topic. Yeah. Well, they hire the Xerox company, which happens to have 5,000 employees in Kentucky. They're not making copy machines. Xerox is a whole new company these mm -hmm. days. They've reinvented themselves. But there are over 1,000 people here in Fayette County that are helping do the fulfillment answering your phone calls, sending your invoices or receipts, you know, the, the paperwork and all that, doing that for state government in a way that saves state government money. So we're saying you could do it with water, wastewater treatment plants, you could do it with toll roads, you could do it with airport, you name it, there are a lot of things.